Welcome to my educative channel. I'm Dr. Ricardo Justra, plastic surgeon from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm specialized in periorbital rejuvenation, non-invasive periorbital rejuvenation. Today I'm going to talk about the aesthetic value of the eyebrows. Here is my curriculum. The eyebrows the, the, have three parts the head, the body, and the tail. The head must be little, very little down to the tail. When the tail is over the head and over the orbital rim, is in a good position, is in a aesthetic position, and this represents uh, beautiness, uh, happiness and the periorbital is very beautiful with this disposition. Uh, when we get elder, the tail going down, the head st stay still up and the tail going down directly to the cheek area. Here you, you can see the queen if we see a picture when she was young, the tail was in this position. And all the, when the tail is going down, the person acquires an old, sad, and tired expression, like we can see in this draw the tail under the head. In the, when in the conventional blepharoplasty happen the same like in the elder process because the conventional blepharoplasty remove not only upper eyelid skin remove also eyebrow skin and this resection pulling down all the, the, the eyebrow, but more important is the tail. Why the tail? Because here is a small resection, here is more, sorry, here is less, it's not going to pull in down the, the head, but here is pulling down the body and the tail. And with this resection, and with this pulling down the eyebrow, the patient acquire an sad and old expression. Tired, sad, old. This photo was taken from internet. And you can see here, this thin skin is the, the upper eyelid skin, but this thick skin belong to the eyebrow skin and this is a very heavy resection of the eyebrow skin and you can see is uh, is outside from here pulling down the, the tail and all this resection the conventional produce this tire and sad look like this my personal technique consists in the reposition. You can see the tail of the eyebrow very, very low and here over the orbital rim. My technique consists in reposition of the eyebrow, tightening the skin with laser and from here to here I do not remove the skin at all ever ever ever. Just tighten and rejuvenation the skin with carbon dioxide laser and reposition of the forehead and the eyebrow. My technique don't leave a scar. You can see here no scar. I perform a small incision in a sulcus, the eyebrow sulcus. Also one minimal here. And the patient have no scar, no visible scar. And this is another patient with the reposition of the tail and tightening the skin. Another one 
okay you can see here but this this is interesting this video video to see the importance that is is um from the pictures from the mask uh, uh, this computer try to to identify the position of the the eyebrow and you can see here in all these pictures the eyebrow is over the orbital ring with an expression of happiness This video is incredible. Okay, I bring an, an introduction, the aesthetic concept of the antique e Egyptian and the myth concept we have today with the aesthetic periorbital region. I think in the future all of this is going to change. The future is no upper elite skin resection, no lower elite skin resection, no resection at all of the eyebrow. This will be the future because the process of aging is the descension of the tail of the eyebrow. In the aging process, is more important the the tosis of the eyebrow than the skin flexibility of the upper and lower eyelid. There is no flexibility in the periorbital region that cannot be tightening and rejuvenation rejuvenation with carbon dioxide laser. I have a long experience since 1984 to the present using carbon dioxide laser. I have 1,800 videos in my channels and you can see many, many patients. The results are reproductible. The patients are happy. Patients around the world come to my clinic to be treated for me and they are very kind to, to leave comments and let me to, to make a video over their experience. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, this video from the uh, antique Asian Egypt are incredible and I use to show the concept of beauty of this old Egyptian and the misconcept we have today and I'm sure everything is going to change.